Hey, I'm Ty Lesher. I'm the writer director of Bullets. The thing that inspired me to write Bullets and to want to see it made into a series was that uh, I have a regular Saturday night game of poker that I go to uh, with my family. And it kind of evolved out of that dynamic of seeing like, you know, what would I do if, if I wanted to get into the big leagues? How would I get that money? Um, you know, okay, well, being a bank teller, they have access to a bunch of money, but how do they get it out of a certain account, you know? Uh, so it just kind of evolved off of that idea. Um, and just through like general conversation with like my family at the poker table. Originally it was gonna be uh, like a, a buddy comedy, kind of goofy. The two guys were gonna just be these bumbling idiots who stole money from a bank and went to uh, Vegas to play in the World Series of Poker. But they, it, it ended up not being a very good story that way so I kind of rewrote it, re-envisioned it to be more of a dramatic thing. Um, and I found that there's too much of a story there to be one film and it works better as a series, and I don't have the funds or what, whatnot to, to see a TV series made, so I decided you know, take it in my own hands and start to make it as a web series. It was tough to, to be the writer and now transition into being a director uh, for Bullets because as a writer, you're writing, you're playing every character, you're everything in your head, you're shooting it in your head as you write it, um, and then to switch over from that and actually start to make it real and, and be the director and start making the creative choices for that, I had to just kind of take my writer hat off, forget about the fact that I wrote this script and only look at it from being a director and from how it's gonna be shot. Um, so from that sense, it was, it was kind of tough to just kind of let it go and let it see what it's gonna evolve into. The thing that compels me to get involved in a project is the story first and foremost. I have to really like the story and really like the characters and like the premise. I guess the hook and the concept is the big thing for me. If, if something doesn't have a good hook, I don't really get involved with it. I don't, it doesn't catch my eye, I guess. Um, so something that has a unique hook, has unique characters that can tell that certain kind of story or you know, tells a story of something that I care about, that's kind of what compels me to get involved in a project. The most challenging part of being a director for me was uh, having to have an answer immediately to the thousands of questions that you get asked on a daily basis. Um, anything from pre-production, production, post-production, post everything. You have to have an answer to something and stick by it. And you can't wish wash back and forth. You have to be able to, to say something and stick to that answer, which for me was always pretty difficult because growing up and even into my you know, late, late teens, early 20s, I was uh, very indecisive. I would always wish wash on stuff. I'd go back and, and answer questions again because I didn't feel comfortable with the answer that I gave. But that's something that I've had to work through. Um, and just you know, become confident in the fact that you know when I pick something, I'm picking it for a reason. I'm not picking it just because you know randomly. I'm making a creative choice, and there's no real wrong answer there. So when I have the script, I've played the movie out in my head. I know how how I want it to be. I have the vision for it. I know the way that I want the actor to say something. But if they're not saying it that certain way, I need to know what to say or how to get them to say it the way I want them to, or how to react the way I want them to. And that's kind of tough, um, especially because after you say cut, you have very little time to, to either say let's move on to something else or to give an, uh, an adjustment. Um, so being able to think really fast has is, is been a, something tough as well that I've tried to get through. Everything that we shot was practically shot in one day. On a Sunday, we started around 10 a.m. I think we finished around like 8 p.m. So it wasn't like a full 12 hour day or anything, but it was very, like we shot everything really quickly. The, the scene that took the longest was the talking scene between um, Mark and Hugo. That took the longest. There was a, a couple other scenes that just were like one quick shots, like the shot of uh, Jimmy Fishback or Bram Majestic and Mark Cirillo. Those were quick and easy. Um, we shot too much good stuff in that day, actually. So much that we had to cut a lot of it out for the teaser. Um, the scene with the wife, there's a full dialogue scene there. The scene where uh, Mark and Hugo talking, there's a full scene there. Uh, but trailer-wise, it just didn't work, so we had to cut it out. It was tough and exciting to work with the actors for the first time and to kind of learn how they like to be directed and how they react to certain things. And that's something that will be fun to have during the whole series. 
uh, because it's gonna be like two weeks of shooting with them and finding out once we get into our rhythm, we can just kind of go.